Hello. This is a park. This is London. There's more London. And these are tourists. My name is Klaus. And that over there is my motorbike. I left it for 24 hours in front of my house after I got it. And um, had it instantly stolen because I live in East London. And um, a bunch of kids took it for a joyride, I guess. It used to be a fully fed bike with loads of plastic around it. Um, they broke all the plastic in the process. Indicators, front lights. Um, so now it's not a fully fed bike anymore. For the front indicators I just took a pair of these rear indicators and turned them around so they would be facing the other way to get an amazing um, sense of you know symmetry. Uh, because I'm, I'm quite good with style. So if you have a bike stolen and um, if you're so if you're unlucky enough to have it stolen, that's a shame. I feel for you. It happens to the best of us. Apparently, one in ten or one in twenty are then lucky again to get it recovered, and you do get it in a police pound, which is the pla which is uh, what they call the places where they uh, have impounded vehicles and stolen vehicles. Uh, it's quite a high security setup. You have to stand in a little cage. Uh, yeah, the doors. Like the one set of doors is always locked and you have to pay them for the privilege of getting your own property back because they they recovered it for you which is a fixed cost of i think 150 pounds and then an additional eight pounds per per day of storage which does make sense for people who you know who have their vehicle impounded because it's their fault as in uh, you haven't paid your insurance or you have, have got no mot uh, but it's a bit mean on someone who had it stolen. It's a bit adding insult to injury. Um, anyways, if we could just go quickly over the damages that we have. Um, as I mentioned before, the, the indicators and the, and the front lights, they were part of the, of the plastic, plastic fairings that the bike had. So I had to replace them with new ones. Um, Weirdly, they stole my steering, well, my, my speedometer and ref counter unit, which is like this big 80, was this big 80s computer, which uh, was fitted there, which is gone now. So, you know, going past the speed trap, I mean, in traffic like this, it's fine because I just do what everybody else is doing. And then I suspect I will be going roughly the speed limit. Um, however, it makes it quite exciting to go by yourself past a uh, speed camera. Or the thing that I've learned to hate the most is the uh, is, are the average sp average speed camera zones because I've got no way of telling if I'm going 45 or 35 or something. Um, you feel a bit, you feel the difference a bit with the, from the wind, you know. But on a windy day like this, I don't know, it makes it harder to guess how how quick you are. Um, the ignition was broken, obviously. So this is an aftermarket lock which I professionally fitted, um, and then. They drilled a hole into the tank flap uh, and I replaced the remainder of the lock that was in there with a 5p coin that I glued in place, you can maybe you can see it in the video, um, which I glued in place and I cut a little slit in it beforehand, uh, into which I need now fit a screwdriver to open it at a petrol station. Um, furthermore, they tried to drop the engine out of the frame, so I had to have a few engine mounting bolts replaced. And... They also tried to grind the, um, grind the, grind the VIN number, the vehicle, vehicle number, out of the frame. Uh, but didn't succeed in that. So, you know, if you've got a bike, be careful, I guess. This, I bought this for a thousand pounds. And I would have thought the thieves would target scooters because they're liked, or proper sports bikes, you know, that are worth £10,000 or something. But no, even if you've got a 30-year-old BMW, you're not as safe. That's it. That's the story of uh, having my bike stolen and recovered. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. I don't know how far it's 20 is. How fast is 20?